Hola guys. I'm really struggling with my eyesight. I don't know if it's my glasses or what the heck is happening. But it is definitely time for an eye exam. And I know way past time for ow bifocals. I am all tangled up. I am a little discombobulated. We have had quite the day today. Um, little dude uh, woke up this morning with a swelled um. with swelled gums he um had a loose molar for a day or two and he kept wiggling it and wiggling it uh he got a, had a new molar coming in and um yesterday monday i noticed a little swelling right here uh but he said that it didn't hurt too bad that his actual tooth didn't hurt too bad and you know he he seemed okay so went to school he came home Monday afternoon, uh, still a little swelling, but said, I see ears, but he said, um, his tooth had come out. So we rinsed his mouth. We'd been rinsing, uh, to alleviate some of the tenderness and, uh, just brushing around it really, really careful just until it came out. Uh, but he did have a little swelling like right here. And I'm like, uh Oh, maybe something got in there, uh, in where the little molar was hanging. Who knows? But I was, I was worried that something had gotten in there and, maybe caused an infection and sure enough uh this morning woke up and his little mouth hurt and the swelling was still there and when he went to brush his teeth he couldn't brush that side so I looked in there and sure enough the gum around the new molar beautiful new little molar but the gum around the molar looked suspect so we ended up having to go to the dentist he is asleep right now uh, they kind of doped him up and they cleaned the area around. It wasn't quite an abscess, but there definitely was uh, stuff lodged in uh, between the gum and the new molar. So just, you know, a couple days of eating with it, with a little loose tooth and all that. And uh, But he's okay now. He's just crashed out. But when we left there, um, he was wide awake and perky. I had to go pick up a um, prescription for me. And as usual, they're never friggin' ready. They send me a text message that it was ready, but it wasn't ready. Um, so we're right in the neighborhood. We went to um, the uh, little thrift store here in my neighborhood. Look all modeled. I'm telling you guys, my eyes are off. Um, or maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. But um, i got to get this condition out of my hair. Winter. Really? Are so rude. Uh, been trying to just get little things done here and there while my, you know, I'm off. Uh, but we did go to a uh, Dollar Tree, um, to kill a little bit of time. Um, and then because we were actually here in the neighborhood, uh, we went to the little thrift store here in the neighborhood, which was open, and we picked up a few things there. So I'm like. He's a little, can I help you? Can I help you, precious? Can I help you? He's, uh, he was a little doped up, but he was, he, he didn't mind playing hooky. So let me show you guys a few little things we picked up at, a at, a the thrift store. What happened here? Hold on, guys. Hold on, something's off. <laughs> okay, um, I had the channel on the 70s show, and then it went to some movie with, um, Jane Fonda in it and something burning, so Kitty stepped on the remote. Uh, Kitty's being nosy in the thrift bag. He loves bags, paper bags, plastic bags, any kind of bag. Um, I am feeling a little off. I'm not sure why, like I said. I don't know if it's lighting in here. I don't know if it's my glasses. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's, I'm just tired or, or what, but if I seem a little off, it's because I feel it. But anywho, I um, thought I'd take advantage while little dude is resting. Finally hit him, I guess, because we got home. He had one of his shakes, and it got quiet. I'm coming downstairs to, you know, check on him and straighten up some stuff, and it, he's knocked out. So I put a blanket over him. So while he's napping, I thought I'd take advantage and just show you guys of the three little things I found at that thrift store. Uh, little dude always looks for that fancy... You know, not fancy, but that little hidden toy. 
because they don't have a lot of toes, but he didn't find any. I feel like I'm rattling. I really, really do. Maybe I need sleep. I don't know. He needs huggins. He needs huggins. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. He needs huggins. Okay, there. Stop changing the channel on me, kitty cat. I found two things. I found this jar. It needs to be cleaned and dusted. The top is kind of grody. But, uh... It was two bucks. And the reason I like these is because I like I like to put makeup brushes in them or little lipsticks in them or little, you know, little uh, 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 um, kitty, little whatever in it, makeup kind of things in them. And I thought they were pretty because I'm going to do a little on this cabinet back here once I get the paper on it and everything. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an assortment of makeup y things. Maybe if I see them, I'll use them kind of thing. So I got two of these. Um, here's the other one. I like the little lids. Kitty cat, you're going to knock it over. You are so mosey. Oh my goodness. Ah, you're pushing it. Come here. Come here, fuss butt. Get right there. The only other thing I picked up there, I didn't really, I don't really have a home for it. I'm thinking the living room because it's kind of blue. But... It was so neat. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely brass. And if you look close enough, it looks like it has inlays of little stone or something. But the reason I liked it is because that's the Last Supper, correct? Um, it says Jerusalem, which I just noticed. This looks brass. It says Jerusalem, and each little groove looks like it has some kind of stone little colorful stones in it i don't know much about brass but i do know that uh the patina on it can be nice i don't mind a patina on it but i wonder i'm curious if it would shine up if i should try and shine it now let's untape it i don't really know what this is it's a bowl obviously but i don't know what for i don't want to use it wrong if it was some kind of spiritual kind of thing or okay let's take but is that brass it has a little screw in there holding this oh it was three dollars can you all see right there it was three bucks i'm not sure what it is but it's really really pretty maybe it's not brass i don't know it feels like it the lid the handle and the base do but um I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't know what it was used for. But it's pretty. So it's going to go in my living room. And that's it. Those two jars and that. And then we went to um, Dollar Tree. This little dude likes to go to Dollar Tree. It's like his guilty pleasure. Mine is thrift. His is a Dollar Tree. He always walks away with some little dollar toy. I swear to goodness, you guys. My eyesight is blurry. It's just the lighting. I don't know. I feel off. Let's clean these up. Maybe it's my conditioner in my head making me go blind. I still haven't used the Pantene one or the one I bought at Dollar Tree. It's the one that I have just a little bit of. I put it in there and I let it sit and then I wash it out in the shower at night. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> maybe I'm having shampoo blindness. I mean, conditioner blindness. Anyway. I bought two more of these. You guys, these are a saving grace up in this house. These are those little um, exfoliating gloves. And I finally found some in purple. I found pink. I found white. I finally found some in purple. Little dude has a pair that I like to use on his elbows and knees because we don't want the crusty elbows and knees. Um, and he's starting to get a lot of uh, little debris on his nose. So these are good to prevent whiteheads and blackheads on his little nose. And it's just his little nose. I hope he doesn't have bad skin. Poor kid. I had bad skin for about two years in my high school life, and it was just right around here. Really, really bad. I would break out so bad. Um, and I still break out around the same spot, but not as bad. But anywho, um, I just bought these as preventative, uh, just to have a nice, clean pair. I mean, I wash them and all, but I found, eh, kitty, and I finally found purple. So I got those. I don't know who's going to use them, but they were purple. I found this sassy and chic little uh, electronic nail kit, and I got really excited, even though just 
what, last year or the year before, we were finding the Epi ones. You remember the Epi ones that were all the rage? They were like $14 at Walmart, and they were a dollar at Dollar Tree. Well, I had a few of those, gifted a lot of them. And I have one, but this one's so much smaller. It's so much smaller. I could even, like, actually throw it in my purse if I ever had a reason to throw one in my purse. I don't know. But it comes with the three little shaper tools. You drop a battery in there, and there you go. I thought that was neat. I'd seen a lot of you guys haul these before, so I just grabbed that. I got two types of chandelier bulbs because I could not remember what the base of the bulb that I'm using in my mom's vintage 1970s clock that I have. I love that clock. That sucker's still ticking. Um, I have it in my dining room and one of the bulbs go off. Now the bulb looks like this, but I could not remember if it was this tiny little base or this. So I just bought two just in case. I got more of this. This is so friggin' good, guys. This is a really, really good brand of uh, sinus meds. I love it. I go through, I go to this before I'll buy a name brand anywhere. Really, really works really well. I got two books. Um, the Paper Cowboy. And if my eyes were working right, I would uh, read this off to you. But if you all are curious about what, wow. It's my glasses, guys. I am so in need of bifocals now. Because y'all see me doing this all the time, right? As soon as I do this, I can see perfectly clear. I do this, they're blurry, and it is getting worse. I'm going to have to bite the bullet on top of a new car, on top of financing the air, on top of everything else. Now I need glasses. But anywho, I got the book, The Paper Cowboy. If y'all are wanting to know what it's about, I can definitely let you know. Just let me know in the comments. Or y'all can be like me and Google it. Google is my friend. And then, dear Mr. M, I think I may have got this one by accident. Oh, no, I didn't. It sounded interesting. Now that I look at the cover, it looks a little weird, like something wet had spilled on it. But, uh, dear Mr. M, I got that. And the last thing I picked up there was this movie. It's called Place at the Table. Now, this I will try and read about. If another nation was doing this to our children, we'd be at war. Jeff Bridges, founder of the End Hunger Network. An important and eye-opening documentary, as you'll see this year. A terrific call to action. Uh, Joe Newmeyer, New York Daily News. 50 million Americans, one in four children, don't know where their next meal is coming from. A Place at the Table tells the powerful stories of three such Americans who maintain their dignity even as they struggle just to eat. In a riveting journey that will change forever how you think about the hungry, A Place at the Table shows how the issue could be solved forever once the American public decides, as they have in the past, that ending hunger is in the best interest of us all. Now, this hits close to home because, as you all know, we grew up poor. Now, we were never hungry, but we did go a lot of times with just the bare minimum. Like, we survived at least two, three times a week on beans and rice and tortillas. I mean, we were poor, but my mom tried to fortify all that food and made sure that she had high protein, you know, high 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 calorie type of stuff in the house. I mean, she did the best she could and we were never hungry. We were never hungry, but we did know what it was to struggle with food and have to stretch out food. Um, thankfully, as an adult, as a mother, I have not had that struggle and that's what all parents want to have is better for your kids. My mom did an amazing job like I've heard you all like you've heard me say before, but there are kids and we knew some that we knew were hungry and my mom knew they were hungry. So she always made sure there was a little bit of extra something something in case they came over. Now as a child, I didn't know my friends were hungry, but my mom knew they were. Um like I said, we were all poor. We didn't know we were poor. Uh, but looking back now as an adult, hindsight, wow, like yeah, a lot of my friends were hungry. So this hits close to home, this type of thing. I, I watch a whole lot of documentaries on poverty in America and that type of stuff. And um, shamedly, ashamedly, I don't do enough to help the situation. I donate to food banks, but I don't do enough. Uh, but this is very, very eye-opening, and I'm probably going to cry buckets watching it. But it just hits close to home, so I bought that. Now, that is everything I picked up at Dollar Tree. The only thing I have to show you guys is Ipsy. It finally came. They kept messing around talking about 24 to 48 hour delay on this stuff. And, of course, as usual, I peeked online to see what I was going to get. And I got this little pink bag. Well, a whole bunch of us, all of us that got Ipsy, got this Constellation 
um, bag. I wonder which one is Leo. I'm a Leo. I'll have to Google. But I got this little bag, and I wasn't that impressed with the stuff that I saw. Whoa. Okay, online, it was deceiving. Okay. I just threw everything out. Find your light. Oh, that's the theme. Find your light. Hence the constellations. And I was like really bummed because I was like, oh, I'm going to get a bunch of little bitty stuff. But nah, dude, it looks... Okay, we have... What the heck is this? Haru Haru Wonder Honey Green Aqua Balm Cream. Is it a lotion? Is it... For your face? Everyday solution. It's a lotion. Okay, now... With my allergies, I'm a little leery of these, but I don't know if that's full size or a travel size of this wonder brand of lotion. I'm curious. Honey green aqua bomb cream. Okay. Oh, it's moisturizer. It's moisturizer for your face. Okay, okay. Got this little bitty Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydrating Foundation. Looks very orange. I'm band-aid color, okay? Not orange color. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Got this Hanhu Watermelon Illuminator Overnight Serum. Again with the face. I'm scared of putting stuff on my face, but that's what that looks like. And I got an eyeshadow, apparently. Yeah, I was like, dude, when is it coming? I mean, I already knew what I was going to get, but I was curious. This is the Beauty Crop Eyeshadow. I was sitting here because I wanted to sit on the bed. Usually I'm a little further back in the corner and my eyesight is an effect that is weird. Oh goodness gracious, I can't open this. Hold up. Okay. It's this purpley, what color would you call that? It, it looks exactly on camera as it is. It's kind of a purple. It's pretty. Very frosting, very frosty. That's pretty. And this is why I went whoa when I when I opened the little bag. Okay, this is worth it. I was a little disappointed. With little baby circle samples. Look at this, guys. It's a full size of something. A full size of Madison Miller blush. That may work on my band-aids. Yeah, it'll work on my band-aid skin. Look at that. It's a nice full size. I always get excited when I get a full size of something. So is this bag worth it this month? Is it worth the $10.83 I got? Um, Barely. The bag is cute. I love a full size, and you can't go wrong with a little eyeshadow. But all this other stuff, nah. Scared to use, scared to use. Probably will forget I have and not use. Will attempt to use, just to see. But um, that's everything, guys. I'm going to go sneak a peek at little dude, make sure he's okay. Um, it's not quite dinner time. Ooh, kitty, you and this tail. It's not quite dinner time, but uh, definitely snack time if he is awake. So to my next go around, thank you guys for watching. I know this is kind of a shortish video. And forgive me if I, if I, if I look as weird as I feel because I'm, I'm a little off. But uh, to my next go around, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Love your benches. Well, it turns out I was wrong on all accounts. Well, sort of. These are too big. These are the right base, but not the right design. And only one of them is out. Look at this thing. This clock has been in every house that I've lived in as long as I can remember. Every now and then, it'll lose one of these, as it did right here. I need to um, super glue it back. The one here in the center we lost a long time ago, can't find it. But uh, did any of you guys have one of these? My mom got this clock, late 60s with trading stamps. And I'm telling you, as long as I can remember, this clock has been in every house we lived in until she moved in with my sister and this didn't fit into my sister's decor so she put it away in a box and then because I'm nosy I went digging through her stuff and found it and I had to have it now you can tell down here what real bad shape it was in it was all this color and I tried to de-rust it I tried to take the rust off 
with a rust cleaner and um, what is that called? Brillo pads? Um, but it didn't get the color it was supposed to be. So I went and bought spray paint as close to the color that it was and spray painted it about two years ago. And it's time for another touch up job, but it still works. You guys, this is freaking an old clock. It still works. It keeps great time. The little lights still work. Well, when the bulbs work, the little lights still work. And this is just childhood nostalgia for me. I gotta, I'm gonna replace both with a different style since I couldn't, I didn't find the right ones. But I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. Do you guys have anything in your homes that take y'all back to childhood? Maybe something y'all kept from your childhood? Was there a dish? a knickknack, a blanket, something that you kept from your childhood home or something that your parents or maybe grandparents handed down to you and you've kept in your house. I have a lot of that stuff. I'm very, very sentimental and I'm just curious. Sorry, I'm holding you guys. If anybody else does that. I've noticed and I just noticed today that a lot of the stuff that I kept um, has a lot to do with the kitchen or eating. And it's because some of my fondest memories were of being in the kitchen with my mom. Even if I wasn't cooking per se or eating, I was playing in there with her while she was making dinner. I just always felt comfortable and comforted and safe when I was near my mom. Uh, and I noticed as I was looking around, with the exception of the clock, that a lot of the stuff that I have kept that she has given me or that I've asked to have in my home is kitchen related. Let me show y'all. This anchor hawking stuff, she collected when I was a little girl. And y'all know if y'all have been with me a while that I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I just recently thrifted this one. Um, but I can't, I'm, I'm done now. I have a set of the water glasses and a set of the goblets. Um, so I'm done now, I think. But my mom started this collecting and it's just something that takes me back to childhood. I remember summertime. She was so cute. She, I love to have like tea parties. One of my favorite things for her to buy me were little plastic tea sets. So every now and then she would make sweet tea and we would pour from this pitcher. And I felt so stinking fancy. And it was just awesome. And it's great, great, great memories for me. So that's one of the things I brought home some of hers and I've added to <laughs> Ozzy's gonna have a snack y'all see his tail swooshing but um that's one of the things this carnival glass cookie jar is another thing that I kept of hers it has a little chip on it that broke my heart broke my stinking heart because she took such good care of it I don't know where she got this if it was gifted to her if it was another part of the trading stamp thing but this little cookie jar either had it was only for vanilla wafers when we could afford vanilla wafers and they had to be Nabisco or ginger snaps the old Dutch made ginger snaps we felt so fancy when we had ginger snaps or vanilla wafers in the house it was like our wow treat I mean I don't know what it was about them we just felt so fancy when we had them the ginger snaps I would dunk in tea and vanilla wafers, of course, and milk. And this was just always a treat for us. When we had the extra, this cookie jar was reserved for those particular cookies. And that's why it's empty because I still only use it for ginger snaps, not vanilla wafers, because I keep vanilla wafers in a box because they're easier access for a little dude. Plus, I don't want this knocked around or broken more. Uh, but I still put ginger snaps in this sucker when I remember to buy ginger snaps. Hello. <laughs> Somebody wanted to say hi. I told him about your tooth falling out your head. You feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not hurting anymore? What you drinking? Coke syrup. Because it was hot, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me show you guys this thing. This is another one of my handed down. This was my grandma's comal, was my mom's comal, and now is my comal. For tortillas, for pancakes, again, a lot of memories. My mom used to make one pancake after another, after another, after another for three hungry little kids. Um, on this comal, she used to make tortilla after tortilla after tortilla as we're sitting there 
taking them hot off of the comal, putting butter on them and eating them. Poor lady. She could not get a good stack of tortillas until each one of us had had at least two each. But this was, this is an old, old comal and it still does its thing. This molcajete. This rock used to be huge. Uh, it was my grandma's, it was my mom's, and she gave it to me when I moved into my own apartment. And I've had it ever since. And my son already has said he wants it. My big dude has already said he wants it. He's not big of a cook, but I think he wants it just because I've made some of his favorite meals using this. Um, I think that's why. But that's that's perfectly fine. I'm glad. He's not as sentimental as I am. As a matter of fact, he's very minimal. I have too much stuff for his liking. So I think he's going to be very minimalistic in his own place. But he's still traditional. He's still sentimental. So uh, he already claimed this. So that's going to go to him. And the only other thing that I have. This was just my mom's. Uh, the one my mom had originally, honestly, was just a broomstick that uh, someone had cut for her and had sanded for her and she used a broomstick and then she went fancy because a lot of people gave her grief for it I'm like whatever y'all are still eating the tortillas she makes with that freaking you know what I don't even know what to call these in English oh my gosh we call them palotes okay depending on where you're from if you're from Mexico you might be like you don't call that a palote but here in Texas our text Mexican way was we call them a palote oh my gosh what are these rolling pins Okay, so my mom fancied herself up with this fancy little rolling pin and she handed it down to me. When her arthritis got too bad that she wasn't making tortillas anymore, uh, she was opting for the bag one. She handed this over to me and I have lots of memories of her using this. And I've created memories, I'm sure, for my kids using this. Because they prefer, of course, homemade than store-bought. But mama ain't got arthritis, but mama tired. But these are some of the things that I've kept from my home growing up. Just stuff that reminds me of my mom, stuff that gives me comfort, stuff that makes me feel safe. And as far as being sentimental goes, look at my mama. These, this is what she looked like when I had most of my amazing memories. I don't have any bad memories. Not of her with us, treating us any kind of way. She was always amazing and hardworking and loving and still is but she looked like this when my most happiest memories oh I'm getting tingly in my nose this is what she looked like in my memories I have lots of memories of her but the first memories I have those amazing memories of being a little girl following my mommy around she looked like this She's so beautiful. Oh, let me show you one more. So, y'all know I'm trying to make this bedroom into like a lady glam show place. I don't know, just area, space. So I'm over here decorating with Hollywood starlets and this and that and this and that. When this lady right here, whew, queen of them all, queen of them all. Lady to its most honest description. Always a lady. Always classy. Always loving. Wow, I'm getting sentimental. She's so amazing, you guys. And I love this picture. She had it stored away because my dad was in it. <laughs> but I cut him out and just kept her because I think she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think she looks like Jackie O in this picture. Some of you guys might have seen this picture in other videos because I've shown it to you all, but I'm just going down memory lane. I don't know what it is with me lately, you guys. I've been feeling so nostalgic, but dash my mommy, and she has a place in my room as the glamour queen of all time. I came up here to see if there was anything in this bedroom or upstairs uh, that I bow guarded or borrowed from a mama for my house um and i can't think of anything but i did want to show you guys that picture <sighs> today has been very strange i can see better here maybe it was the light shining over my head um yeah today's better 
uh, it's gotten better um, since the first part of this video a uh, little dude woke up and we were thirsty for something nice and cold and um, we went and got us some slurpees as y'all saw and we're just waiting for dinner time to come around but I felt like visiting with you guys again so oh I'm wiggling y'all sorry so y'all y'all tell me y'all tell me if y'all want to share y'all tell me if there's anything y'all hold on to if there's anything that just brings you guys comfort and peace and nostalgic memories that you guys have in your home now or things that you guys might want to pass down to your kids or your grandkids or your nieces and nephews y'all let me know i'm really really sentimental guys i really really am and i love tradition and i love memories i love holding on to good memories but anywho thank you guys for watching i wonder if little dude wants to say not good night because it's not night time yet but let me find out just be sure because i don't want him upset because he did want to say hi to y'all in the kitchen so i hold. met him halfway in the hallway or the stairwell anywho you want to say something you want to because we're ending the video you want to say something yeah what do you want to say good night or see you later because it's not night time see you later we'll show you guys the gallery it's kind of dusty because i can't reach some of them um this is my gallery this is a hold on for those of you who have heard me talk about my gallery, this is my gallery. Um, you can see where little kid handprints are all over the place. This is where I put all my photos in black frames going up a little stair. That's me as a baby. <laughs> well, apparently I rattled on too long because my battery, my memory kicked me out. So now I'm going to say see you later. Oh, quick, quick. We picked that up when... We're running out of memory. Hurry. Hello. Where did we pick this up? Uh, from Big Lots. From Big Lots. Yeah. This weekend, right? Yeah. Okay. Look. It's going to eat it. Oh, it is. It's from the movie. But anywho, it you is. guys, memory's going to cut off. We'll do a whole nother toy review video if that's what you want to do. Till the next go around. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all bunches. Bye. See you later. <laughs>